In this video, I'm going to talk about my story and tell you about the skills that I've chosen to invest in big time, um, start at a young age and up till today. So one of those is entrepreneurial skills slash business. This is an example of an ever green skill. No matter what job you're in, what role you're in, there's almost always a way to find an opportunity to do things better, to advance or to add value. And when you can add value, you're going to get paid more especially if you know how to negotiate it, how to make deals. And that's all part of entrepreneurial and business skills. So that's been something I've been doing from a young age. Another is communication skills. Okay, so that shows up in my teaching communication, a lot of that is about understanding other people. Okay, and then there's also the skills of actually talking or writing and expressing, structuring, creativity. Okay, so communication skills. These are skills that I'm gonna be using for the rest of my life. Also, skills like knowing how to use cameras and audio recording and editing. All right. So just like in the ancient times, ancient scribes and artists, they would mix their own pigment and it would be a big secret what they were using to create the colors for their pigment. And most people couldn't read, most people couldn't write. Well, nowadays, most people don't know how to use a video camera, don't know how to use an audio camera, don't know how to edit, or only know at a very, very basic level. Okay, so these are, these are skills that I can feel, and another one is marketing. That's sort of a uh, crossover with business skills is being able to communicate and make an argument to buy something. Okay, so these communication skills, these business skills, entrepreneur skills, these are an example of things that are going to be useful for the rest of my life. Um, and with communication skills especially, this is not just something that's useful in my professional life, but it's also something that's useful in my relationships. Okay. Third one is organization and systems. Okay, this, this touches every area of my life because it improves the productivity, less overwhelm, easier, can do more, more relaxed. All right, so that's another evergreen skill. This, is, this sort of thinking about how to organize and how to set up systems is not gonna go away. The need for that is not gonna go away over time. Even as technology changes, um, new things are invented, cultural changes, travel, whatever. So these skills are not going to go away. These skills are all going to last decades and really lifetime. So investing in skills like this makes a lot of sense because you know they're going to be useful no matter what 
all those other things that you do, you know those core skills are going to be useful and they can be applied to anything else. So a core part of what you do should be investing in skills like this. And we'll, we'll be talking more about that later. Um, accelerated learning is another one. And this is really how I figured out what I was going to do is I was teaching myself business entrepreneurism uh, at a very young age and I was reading books and I was trying to figure out why am I forgetting so much? Uh, why are the strategies that I was using in school now not working? Well, it turned out my strategy in school was I could cram, get a good grade on the test and then forget. And there really wasn't any penalty for that. In the real world, I found out if you forget, you fail. So this made me go on a, a quest for what is the system for learning that really works, that's really optimal. And that's what this course series and that's what most of my work is about. This is, and, and I knew that I was going to need skills. I was going to, you know, the statistics about you're going to change your career 10 times or whatever. Well, that means you're going to have to learn a lot of different skills. And the way technology is changing things, you always have to be learning new stuff. So this is another example of an evergreen skill. You can apply this skill to any other endeavor that you go after any other skill it's basically a meta skill because it makes learning at any other skill easier same thing with organization is organization is going to make anything you else you do easier and better communication skills no matter almost no matter what you do if somebody's going to give you money, you're going to have to communicate with them. And that's going to affect your relationship, which is going to affect how much you make, how much you enjoy it, working with other people on a team, etc. If you're getting paid, that means there's a business somewhere, either that you're working in or that's connected to you in some way that's bringing in money. And they do that based off creating value. And you're part of what creates that. Okay, so whether you're an entrepreneur, you're, you, you're a business owner or investor, whatever, you're at some either immediacy or one or two levels of remove from a business. And the more you understand that, the better off you're going to be, the better off uh, you're going to do. So these are examples here of what I've decided to invest in, and all these have paid off extremely well. So as you go through this course, think about what are some of these evergreen skills that you already have in your life that you should be investing more in? And where are you investing your time where there isn't a big payoff and there probably isn't going to be a payoff or it's, it's paying off big now, but it's just going to be going down. And so don't just look at, well, what's happening in a year or two, but what's, what's the cumulative effect over the next 10 years or even more? So we'll be getting more into all these ideas. Uh, this video is to give you some examples uh, to start thinking about how are you investing right now and where you're going to invest in the future.